Are you guys tired of spending your hard earned money and then EA giving you terrible pack odds? Look no further, come to muttreserve.com for the fastest cheapest Madden 21 coins. Use code JTIBS for 15% off your order. I need to post a banger video man, I haven't hit over 500 likes in months. But what to post? What could I do to clickbait the shit out of people? Uh, I've got it. I posted this onside kick glitch last year and it got almost like 50,000 likes. I'm sure if I do it this year, I'll get like 100,000, man. Let me, let me just go through the comments, read some enthusiastic positive comments to get me going. My guy Camden Jeffrey, this video just won me a game. Hey, my man, he knows what's up. How to recover onside kicks every time. Yes, sir, that's the title. Fails like five times before recovering one. What, what is he talking about? How does this have 32 likes? Day one of asking Jay Tibbs to go bald. Okay, come on, man. I'm never going bald. YouTube, what is happening, y'all? Jay Tibbs back with another video. All right, so I know y'all are probably looking for some type of onside glitch. And to be honest with you guys, I did find something a little intriguing. I think this is really good. And I think it's very beneficial to give a shot at. So I'm going to share it with you guys today. Also, I'm playing another YouTuber at Pro Madden Player this week. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. You guys are going to see that video hopefully later this weekend, uh, if not early next week. So there's that to look forward to. Without further ado, guys, got my Caps hat on. Got the same t-shirt I've been wearing for three. I, get, I got my Penn State t-shirt that I've been wearing for a while. So, you know, let's get into it. All right. So, again, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. But your opponent is generally not going to come out in an onside formation to start the game off. Again, this is if you want to get really scummy, okay? This is if you want to get really, really scummy, okay? This is a surprise technique. I'm going to repeat it again. This is a surprise technique. This is if your opponent is not expecting it, and you surprise him real quick, and you start the kick meter before he can audible. So, what you're going to do, and what a lot of people accidentally do, I'm going to show you how to not do it, is they try to aim a little bit towards the sideline, start the kick meter here, and then kind of line it up right there. And obviously, it's not a bad technique, but you're not going to get that 10 yards you want. Again, we hit it like 8 yards, we have no shot at getting it. So this is how you want to kick it. You want to get that first, you're going to tap A or X on the PS4, you want to get that first, uh, I guess, uh, emblem right there the first line about halfway there and then you want to spam it once it's inside that line so you want to get it to about right there and you see we don't recover it but we have a really good shot we get to that 10 yards we got about five packers there we're not able to pick it up but you see right there if you guys see where that blue line kind of gets light you want to get it around that area right there and then for the second one the accuracy meter you want to get it in between that green line and that blue and that uh, white line so you kind of want to do like this like I'm, I'm gonna try and do it again that wasn't the best but again it doesn't go the distance we want so we have to kick it a little bit harder again 50 percent or higher i'd say between 50 percent and 60 percent is ideal so right here if we can get that in there that's a perfect kick that is literally a perfect kick and we end up actually getting it to almost about 10 yards again a little bit short but you guys do want to aim for that area so again, it's very, very simple. You are going to get it halfway there, and then you're going to time it. Like right there, that was a perfect kick. We get it about 10 yards. Ah, uh, we can't pick it up. But again, you're going to see that I'm going to show you a way to pick it up pretty nicely. So what you're going to want to do is kick it regularly. Again, you want to kick it like you've been kicking it, and then click on immediately. So watch what I do. I'm going to click on immediately. I'm going to click on, and I'm going to start spamming B, and you see we get it right there. Now I'm going to go into instant replay and kind of break down how to get these back Again, because you know the hands team isn't the best, and it's kind of ironic. They're the hands team. They're not going to pick it up. So you got to take matters into your own hands. Let me show you an instant replay. All right, so here we are. Now I'm going to go side view just to give you guys a better angle. Now, again, we kick our ball right there. Boom. Now you see me spamming B. I'm spamming B right there. I'm spamming it. And you see, again, we have two Packers there. It gets past the 10-yard line pretty easily. We got two Packers there to pick it up. And you guys know how mad it is. They're not going to give you the easy way out. They don't let you pick it up. So I'm spamming B, and I start spamming B, and I eventually pick it up. What spamming B or circle on the PS4 controller is doing is it's switching the players, allowing you to take control in your own hands. Now, the reason I don't like staying on one singular one trying to use it is because if you start spamming it, you can move them at the same time. So you'll see as I do here, I'm going to spam it again. I'm going to go ahead and spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it. And here we go. 
So we're going to spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it. And again, they pick up the ball. So again, that didn't go 10 yards. But my point is if you start spamming and moving the left stick, the left analog stick, left and right, you're bound to pick up the ball with one of the, you know, obviously special teams players. So again, we're going to go ahead and do that. That was really, really bad kick. But again, we're going to go ahead and just start spamming B. And it, you know, you don't want to get that much power. That was a terrible example. But still, you guys see how you're going to start spamming B slash circle on PS4 controller. And you're going to make it to where your opponent has to be aware they have to go ahead and obviously get the ball so again we get it to about nine yards not ten yards i'm kicking it a little bit short but you see me taking control of the players that's a very very vital part if you want to go ahead and recover a good amount of these kicks lastly another technique that i like to do when kicking this is i will sometimes and i know this is in the rarest instances you don't have to do this but i will aim a little bit to the left as you see like just a tiny bit to the left so i'm not aiming right now i'll aim a tiny bit to the left once i hit that I'll go ahead and kind of aim to the left to where, obviously, if we can get that ball to that distance, it'll propel it forward to where we want to get it. So, again, I'm going to aim it a little bit to the left. I'm not going to kick it with as much power. Again, that's probably about like a 45 to 50 percentage kick. And that was literally a perfect one right there. That's picture perfect right there. You want that ball to roll every time like that. You want it to be that, that, that gentle. So, again, right there, and I'm spamming A. And the nice thing about onside kicks is, obviously, if you do kick it short, you are going to end up touching it. So it's very hard. I haven't really seen an onside kick where an opponent has kicked it or I have kicked it short. And, you know, their you know return team, their hands team ends up picking it up before mine and ends up taking it to the crib, which, yeah, it, it can happen. But I'm saying this year I haven't seen much of it. So there's really little risk. Obviously, you're, you're giving up good field position. But, again, offense is so easy this year to where it doesn't really matter. Once you get in that red zone, you're really going to make it difficult for your opponent to have to make a play and obviously move the ball. So if you really think about it, kicking an onside kick is just kind of a little a little bit of an advantage in disguise because your opponent is going to be making sure obviously as we get the uh almost get the recovery right there your opponent is basically going to be working with the field anyway so i would recommend and highly recommend it actually kicking on sides a little bit more frequently i know you guys are looking at field position overall but let's be honest it really doesn't matter in this year's game just because of how offense offensive uh, side of this game is obviously defense in man-to-man -man is really really good but on offense it is relatively easy to move the ball so i'd highly recommend it again like i said with a offensive firepower game this early there's really no point in worrying about field position unless obviously it's a tie game and you know obviously they only have to go 20 yards to score a field goal and win the game but still if you guys get my gist let me know in the comments down below all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did smack a like on it let me know down below what video you would like to see next as well now, I'm not going to ruin anything. I'm not going to say who I'm playing, but I am playing a pro Madden player. This guy is a pro. He's won actual clubs before. This dude is a highly regarded player. Really cool guy. Very, very friendly. Uh, and also, he's going to be putting it on his YouTube channel as well. You guys are going to love who I'm going to play. So make sure you guys do not miss any of the videos this week, man. We got bangers coming out. So that about wraps it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is J-Tip signing off. And as always, peace.